enjoy some local traveling. The past two episodes were restricted to indoor activities, so this episode we will be exploring some outdoor activities. We will be embarking on a virtual trip to five different locations across the country. So get your mask ready and let's hit the road. Skylar Gredo, I'm from SCA, and this is my experience throughout quarantine so far. When quarantine was first enforced here in San Pedro and we weren't allowed to leave our houses, it did feel quite odd, but I decided to make the most of it. Being at home gave me a chance to spend more time with my family, work on my hobbies, like reading, learning new things, and painting. It has also taught me to be more productive. I've actually learned a lot about myself during quarantine since I've had a lot more alone time and a lot of time to just think to myself I have been able to grow as a person Even though at first it was kind of hard and it did get boring staying inside my house all day, one thing that did keep me occupied and kept me on my feet was schoolwork and attending my online classes. It really gave me something to do and I wouldn't get bored really easily when I wasn't either working on my hobbies or helping around the house. Now that movement isn't as restricted and I can leave my house more often, I have been visiting the beach and going out to swim. I've been visiting some friends. I've been taking some time out of each day to go outside and appreciate where I live and how beautiful San Pedro really is. This year has been really rough so far, and I know that a lot of people are struggling right now. My prayers go out to those who are having hard times. But if there's one valuable thing that COVID-19 and quarantine has taught me, it is to be more grateful for healthcare and for my family and for friends and for a home and a roof over my head. I have truly learned to appreciate everything that I have and I know that I have definitely learned from this experience and will continue to learn from it. Good morning, Feliz, and good morning. I say good morning, Feliz, and good morning. And how are you this morning? Every morning, life goes to a fucking 
I'm Caitlin Guerrero and I'm a junior at SCA. Here are some of the activities that I've been doing to keep myself busy during quarantine. I've been exercising. I started drawing again, which is something that I normally don't have much time for when we have normal classes. And lastly, with all the additional time that I've had on my hands, I've been baking a lot more. Those are just some of the activities that I've been doing to keep myself occupied during this quarantine. I'm taking the quarantine as a way to take care of myself spiritually, mentally, and physically. My name is Daniela Granales and I'm a junior at St. Catherine Academy. So I know this quarantine can get a bit frustrating and boring at times. So to keep myself occupied, I do multiple activities. Every morning I wake up and I cycle about 12 miles and when I'm finished then I do a workout that focuses on the core and thighs. I also bake and I'm always trying new recipes. For example, these cookies are made from brown sugar, peanut butter, eggs, and chocolate chips. I also enjoy gardening. I find it so calming and therapeutic. And I'm surrounded by so many trees and there's so many plants on my veranda. And as you can see here, I'm watering just a few of my mini plants. So those are just a few things that I've done over this quarantine. And although it can be frustrating and boring at times, for me personally, this experience has taught me to focus on the good instead of the bad. I can say for myself that I've definitely grown and improved. I have developed new talents and I've grown closer with my family. And I've also taken this time to take a much needed break for my body and my mind. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight on what I've done during my quarantine. Suavemente, bésame, que quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez. Suavemente, bésame, que quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez. Suave, bésame, bésame, suave, bésame otra vez. Suave. 
My name is Jay Samaga and I'm a student at St. Catherine Academy. COVID-19 came along with many threats and huge restrictions which forced the world to make drastic changes for the sake of humanity. Ever since our country confined us to our home, I realized how precious our classmates, teachers, families and friends were. Most, most of the time, we take matters or loved ones for granted. Ever since our lockdown, I've learned to appreciate the things that I have what we give for, for as love or care, whether it be a favor or gift. Speaking of gifts, I'm thankful to be on this week's, um, this week's episode of 101 series. As you may know, Father's Day is coming up and they are our number one superheroes. So today I wanted to show you guys how to make a fun, creative and affordable craft to surprise our fathers in their special day. So we're going to be making superhero snacks for our superhero dad. So the materials we're going to be needing are Brista board, felt or colored paper, scissors, markers, pencil, circular pattern, chocolate bars or biscuit. Now the good thing about making this snack is that the only thing you really have to buy is your goodies that you would like to use. The rest you can find at home. So now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it into the superhero. So I've already cut my bristle board, that, which I have chosen to use, in a 5 inch by 4 inch measurement. Now I'm taking my dad's favorite chocolate bar and I'm going to be putting it on top of the bristle board. Then I'm going to be placing the two corners together and lightly making a crease. Next, I'm going to be taking a bit of tape and I'm going to be taping the two corners together so that they stay in place. Next, we're going to be taking our face that I have already cut and we're going to be placing it on top of the tape. Once you've put the face, you can add a la the last part to it, which is totally optional, and you can write any message you would want. So I'm going to be writing Super Dad because he's my superhero. You can also use another shape if you'd like, but it's better if we use a pentagon. Next, we're going to be taking a piece of tape and we're going to be placing it right by the cape. This is how I made my dad's superhero snack. You can also use different stuff, not only biscuits or chocolate bars, but you can also use M&Ms, peanuts, or your father's favorite drink. You can use Powerade, Gatorade, Monster, etc. Now, we can make our Father's Day extra special by adding your favorite snack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! My name is Kaylin Cole and today I will be showing you guys some things I do during this quarantine. 
One thing I usually do is reading. Like right now I'm reading this book called The Sun Rises and it's amazing. I can tell you so much about it but I won't but yeah. Another thing I do is drawing. Like most of the times I draw because like I'm bored. Even though I'm not that good at it but like it just calms me down and it's comforting so that's why I do it and I really enjoy doing it. Another thing that I usually do is listen to music because music just keeps me on the go and I usually do it while I'm doing work or anything like that to keep me like going and going and going because like music is just so motivating to me and that's why I do listen to music a lot and I wouldn't stop. Okay guys so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did during this quarantine or what I'm going to continue doing during this quarantine. So yeah bye! Stay safe as we continue to keep Belize COVID-19 free.